folks. Welcome to Heart of the Home, Away from Home, at home at Harris Farm, the rooster crows, and I have a saying, good morning, let the stress begin. Today, I'm lucky enough to have two and a half days off, brought some great friends, some great food. We're gonna do some simple meals that you can prepare part of it ahead of time, bring it with you, and have three days of meals, fun, and just a great time for $100. Um, I bought chicken on sale, cooked it ahead of time, and our first meal is gonna be chicken and dumplings. Our easy recipe for chicken and dumplings is five pre-cooked chicken breasts, save the broth, and then add two chicken bouillon cubes to that. And then we're going to have white lily flour, and Crisco and Mayfield milk. Probably a pint of milk would be close. And then your salt and pepper to taste. We've got our flour, our Crisco. We're gonna make a well, and we are going to work the dough. We have our broth sitting on the stove hot. I've removed the chicken from the broth, and we're gonna drop this in tiny pieces into the broth and let it simmer. We're gonna add a lot of black pepper because there's something about black pepper and chicken and dumplings that just really works. I've got the dough prepared and I am going to be pinching off small amounts, just about like this, that we will drop in the broth. Make sure your broth is good and hot to the boiling temperature when you start the process. Make them as tiny as you can because they will swell up. Remember, we're using self-rising flour. It will begin to thicken as it cooks, and um, about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll start seeing it thicken a little bit. Do not stir your dumplings. Never stir dumplings. You shake them just like this, just to cover the broth, but do not ever stir dumplings because you'll make them fall apart. And we just let these simmer. When they're almost done, we're gonna add the chicken back to the broth. As you can see, the dumplings have stayed on top. They're rising, they're not falling apart. We're gonna add a little bit of butter. We all know how I feel about cooking with butter. And we are gonna start to add the chicken. Now, I did five chicken breasts. And you add it slowly to not mess up your dumplings. And it will actually go to the bottom and then it will just blend in, pick up the wonderful taste of the broth. And in about 15 minutes, we are going to have the quickest, easiest, inexpensive meal four friends could ever have. The other ingredients for our quick, easy, inexpensive meal, we have a can of asparagus and we've added a little butter, quarter of a stick of butter. Lucero peas, my absolute favorite green vegetable. And to the asparagus, we are gonna add some cheese. Now we're gonna microwave this for about three minutes. And I think when it's ready to come out of the microwave, the chicken and dumplings will be ready. We will have pickle beets, asparagus, English peas, chicken and dumplings, quick, easy, inexpensive, great traveling winter meal. You will love it. Dinner is served, easy, inexpensive, and a quick vacation meal. Plan ahead, prepare ahead, and enjoy.